Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be filming a whole house clean with me. I shared one of these about a month ago and you guys loved it so much. I wanted to go ahead and film another one for you guys. Kyle and I are going to be going on a date tonight. We have a new babysitter coming. So I want to just make sure the whole house is kind of cleaned up for her and looking pretty nice, you know, like those first impressions and things. So I want to go ahead and get that done. And I figured taking you guys along with me would give you guys some extreme cleaning motivation. So that is what we are going to do. I'm also really excited because today's video is also going to be a collaboration with my friend Micah from her channel Micah Stoffer. If you guys are not following Micah, you definitely have to go check out her channel. She is a sweet mom of four with another one on the way. I don't know how she does everything she does, but she does it and she makes it look easy. She is like serious mom goals. So she is also going to be doing a whole house clean with me. So between our two videos, you guys will be so hooked up on cleaning motivation. So I will link her video down below. Be sure to go check her out as soon as you're done watching my video and make sure you let her know that I sent you. And if you are coming over from Micah's channel, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. My name is Amanda and I am a stay-at-home mom to three little boys. I have all kinds of lifestyle videos on my channel and I do a ton of clean motivation. So if those are the type of videos that you guys are interested in, definitely hit that subscribe button down below. And before we get started cleaning, I do wanna let you guys know Mike and I are teaming up to give away two Dysons. So I will leave all the information on how to enter that giveaway down in the description box below. And then I will also talk about it a little bit more throughout the video. So definitely make sure you guys enter that giveaway. We are so, so excited to give back to you guys. So definitely make sure you guys do not miss out on that one. And let's go ahead and get on into it. So I wanted to start out in my bedroom today. I usually always start out in my kitchen as you guys know, but I just felt like my bedroom had so much going on in there right now that I really needed to tackle this space first. So if you watched my complete disaster maybe a few weeks ago, I was actually finally going through all of that stuff. We have just not had the time or honestly the energy to go through that entire bin. So Kyle and I had gone through it earlier in the day, decided what we were keeping and what we were getting rid of. And then I just needed to kind of organize those items and put those away. And then we also had some items that I picked up from the Dollar Tree the day before that had just not gotten put away. So I wanted to go ahead and put those away as well. If you watch my videos all the time, you know that I make my bed every single day pretty much without fail. I feel like my day just cannot really get totally started until my bed is made and I feel like my day is so much more productive once it's made as well. I know I've challenged you guys to do this before, but I seriously will challenge you for one whole week every single day as soon as you get up. Just make your bed. I guarantee it will make such a big difference for you. I know that it will make you feel so much more productive. So try that out and let me know in the comments if you're taking me up on that challenge and then let me know in one of my future videos or come back to this video and let me know how it goes in one week because I'm really excited to hear what a difference it will make for you guys. Once my bed was made, I just needed to tidy up the rest of my room and I just wanted to point out those sheets right there are actually folded sheets, including the fitted sheets. I did it you guys. All of you sent me so many video links and told me how to fold my fitted sheets and honestly these didn't turn out absolutely perfect but they were really pretty good so I just wanted to let you guys know I worked at it this last week and I am now able to fold some fitted sheets so I'm pretty proud of myself right now because this is something that I have just never been able to do. So thank you to all of you who kind of pushed me into doing it. Once my room was pretty tidied up and everything was off my floor, 
I just needed to put away the rest of our clothes. I have shared my laundry routine in the past, so I will link that up above and down below for you guys in case if you're interested in seeing that. But we do our laundry about every day. I do have a few days off where I don't do any laundry, and it's really nice the way we work it out for our family. So if you are interested in seeing that, definitely check out that video. Next, I needed to clear off the tops of our dressers. I feel like these usually don't get too terrible, but lately they have just become the catch-all in our room. So I'm really excited to be decluttering our entire house come this February. We are going to start that journey together. You guys have been really excited to see those videos and I'm really excited to film them and share them with you. I know that it's going to feel like a breath of fresh air once our house is totally decluttered and I just feel like I'm going to have to spend so much less time and effort focusing on cleaning and organizing everything. And I did ask you guys in my last video what areas of the house you would like to see you decluttered first, but if you guys missed that video or didn't leave me a comment, let me know what areas you would like to see me declutter first because I am pretty much have to go through my entire house and I'm really excited to go on this journey together. Now the last thing I needed to do in our room is just vacuum our floors. I get so many comments and questions about my vacuum all the time. So I am really, really excited to be teaming up with Micah. She and I are going to be giving away two Dyson cordless vacuums and we wanted to make it really, really easy so everyone can enter. All you have to do is make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and also be subscribed to Micah's channel and then like and comment on both of our videos. So you do need to comment on Micah's video as well as my video and then like her video as well as my video. And that's it, that's all you have to do to enter. And then two of you will win a Dyson cordless vacuum from us. The giveaway will end in one month. I will leave all of that information down below for you guys, but I'm just so, so incredibly excited to give back to you guys. And I know that you guys are going to love Micah if you are not already subscribed to her. I actually got to meet her in person over the summer and she is absolutely as sweet as she is in her videos. She is so genuine and so real. You guys are going to fall in love with her. Moving into the kitchen, I just needed to clear everything off of our counters. I felt like it was mostly dishes in here today, but we did have a lot of them. So I just wanted to put all of our dishes in the sink and then once I got everything cleared off our counter, I would go ahead and tackle those. Hey, I hope you're doing well. I know it's been a while, but you're still in my head. I wonder if you think about me now and then, like I do right now about you. If you've seen my morning routine, you know that our older boys usually unload the dishwasher every morning, but on this day, we had just had such a busy morning and they just didn't get around to doing it. So I just figured today I would go ahead and do it myself since they had already headed out. What I'm supposed to do. I just wanna be right next to you. Even though I try to get you off my mind. You know that I'm thinking about you all the time Like when we were driving in our car Looking at the stars Made us stop at every bar we found I can see us like a movie in my head I only wish I didn't have to watch the end I try to focus on a different part Like when you play guitar Always singing me that song from Friends I always get so many questions and comments about our dishwasher whenever I'm loading it because we do have this top rack as you can see up here 
and that just makes it so nice. I have not seen another dishwasher like this, but this is a Samsung and we got it when we moved into this house and we just love having that top rack so much. It's really nice to put like anything really shallow or any lids or anything you have and it also cleans everything really well. I don't feel like I have to scrub all of our dishes off really well before we put anything in there. So if you are in the market for a new dishwasher, definitely check out the Samsungs. They have really good ones. Try to get you off my mind You know that I'm thinking about you all the time Like when we were driving in our car Looking at the stars Made us stop at every bar we found I can see it's like a movie in my head I really wish I didn't have to watch the end I try to focus on a different part Like when you play guitar Always singing me that song from friends Ooh. Doing well. I know it's been a while, but you're still in my head. I wonder if you think about me now and then, like I do right now about you. Even though I try to get you off my mind, you know that I'm thinking about you all the time. Like when we were driving in your car, looking at the stars, made us stop at every bar we found. I can see it's like a movie in my head. I really wish I didn't have to watch the end. I try to focus on a different part, like when you play guitar, always singing. Once I had cleaned all of our dishes and our sink was emptied out, I really wanted to clean our sink. Now most days I will just clean our sink with dish soap, but once a week or so I like to use this Mrs. Meyers baking soda cream cleaner, and this is really good for cleaning it and making it look really shiny. And I don't know what it is, but I've said this so many times, every time I clean my sink it just makes me feel like my kitchen is so much cleaner and so much more peaceful. So scrubbing out the sink is one of my favorite things to clean. wipe off my counters I'm just using the Mrs. Meyers all-purpose cleaner in the basil scent this just smells so good it smells like the perfect spring scent to me because it's so fresh and bright and clean so this has definitely become my favorite Mrs. Meyers scent that is available year-round and I do get all of my cleaning products from Grove Collaborative and I do have a link down below where you can get some free goodies I believe the link I have right now will give you a free bubble up dish brush as well as a glass hand soap dispenser and a hand soap refill and also some walnut scrubber sponges so it is such a good deal if you guys have been looking into Grove, I definitely recommend swiping up this deal. I wanted to get you guys a deal that was a little bit different than I've done before, so I reached out to them and they gave me this one, so I'm really excited to share this one with you guys. Need no apologies, cause that's don't really care what you think, what you think, what you think.
Okay, so I wanted to pause for a minute and see if you guys have any tips for me. I've talked about how we kind of have some hard water issues in our house and I cannot get this clean. I haven't tried everything, I'm sure, but let me know if you guys have something to help me with this. Okay, so this is how it looks after I've wiped it down. This is like our water dispenser in our fridge, but you can see there's just like hard water stuck on there. I cannot figure out how to get it off. So if you guys have any tips, please leave them down in the comments. I need some help with this. But on a better note, look at how good that e-cloth did. I'm telling you guys, they are like little magic cloths. They just work amazingly with just water. Awesome. Moving into our living room, it looks like a tornado had hit a little bit. There were diapers everywhere, there were toys everywhere. I think we'd asked Noah to get a diaper out and he decided to just get lots out for later on. So I needed to go ahead and pick those up. Of course the throw pillows were on the floor because I don't know about you guys, but in our house, our throw pillows are on the floor at least 80% of the time. I probably put them back on the couch maybe four times a day. It's kind of ridiculous. I think Kyle doesn't really even know why we have throw pillows anymore because they're almost always on the floor, but it's a labor of love. I love throw pillows. I think they look so nice and they're so nice to snuggle up with, but I am actually looking for some new ones that I can use year round. If you guys have any tips on where your favorite places to shop for throw pillows are, leave them down in the comments because I am really picky on throw pillows, but I want something that's kind of neutral that I can use all year round. Next, I just wanted to get our diffuser going in our living room. Since we were having the babysitter come over tonight, I just wanted our house to start smelling really good for her and just make it smell really fresh and clean. So I wanted to get that going early on in the day. And then after that, I needed to vacuum our couch and our couch cushions. We do have a dog and two cats, and usually I feel like they don't shed too much. We do brush them pretty often but Emma especially is really blowing coat right now just with the weather changing. So she has been shedding like crazy. I feel like everything in our house is just totally covered in her hair. So vacuuming is becoming such a daily thing. I already vacuum every day anyway, but I feel like I'm having to vacuum different things a lot more often. Like I don't vacuum our couch every day and I feel like I'm having to vacuum it like every other day at least because her hair is just getting everywhere. Next, I went into our little powder room that we have on the main floor. And this bathroom, I pretty much never show you guys just because it's so small, it's hard to get a good angle in here. But because we were having a guest tonight, I wanted to make sure that this bathroom was really clean in case she needed to use it. So I started out by cleaning off the toilet and then letting that disinfectant spray just sit on there for a few minutes so it could actually work. And then while the toilet was disinfecting, I wanted to go ahead and clean off the sink and the countertop. And while I was doing that, I went ahead and added my new hand soap dispenser in our bathroom. I thought this was so pretty and it smells really good. I shared this in my recent Grove haul and this is one of those items that I was talking about that you can get for free if you use that link down below. And I love that I'm able to change out the scents and still have this look so pretty and so simple in here. I'm kind of thinking I might get another one and put that in my kitchen to make it look a little bit more seamless in there. Loved you from the first time you called me late Loved you for your wits and your waking games Coming upstairs, it was a mess up here. The boys have totally had free reign up here earlier in the day and I had not even come up here earlier to see what all they had done. So the boys' beds weren't terrible, but I feel like they haven't really even been sleeping in here recently because ever since I redecorated our guest bedroom slash playroom, 
They have been sleeping in there and having sleepovers almost every night. It's been so fun to watch. It's just been so much fun seeing them sleep together all the time. I know there will be a point when they don't want to sleep together and they want their own room, but for now they love it and we are really enjoying this time with them. Moving out of the boys room and into the guest room slash playroom, this bed is pretty hard for them to make because of the sides that it has on it and because it's so big. So when they sleep in here, they usually don't end up making the bed. Sometimes they try, it looks like they didn't even try on this day, but it doesn't really bother me just because they do do their other chores in the morning. But I wanted to go ahead and make sure that it was looking nice, even if they are going to be sleeping in it tonight, because as I said, the babysitter was coming over for the first time and I just wanted everything to look really nice. Next I moved on to the toys and they had a ton of toys out. If you watched my recent playroom declutter video, we got rid of a ton of toys and I still feel like we have too many, especially because we did have Christmas after that and they got a few more toys for Christmas. But during my decluttering process, I am planning to go back into the playroom and get rid of even more toys because I do feel like having too many toys for kids is just almost too overwhelming for them and they will really be able to enjoy their toys even more when they actually have less. Let me know what you think about that if you agree with me on that one. I've seen so many people get rid of so many toys and when they have a lot less, their kids play a lot better and they just enjoy it more. So that's what I'm planning on doing at this point is coming in here and making their toys much more minimal because although most of the toys that they have for all three of them fit into these bins, I feel like they still have a lot of toys and really they have way too many toys for just three of them. So I'm really looking forward to that point when we just have very minimal toys where it doesn't end up looking like this every day. I don't think I want to forget anyway, yeah, yeah. The last area that I wanted to clean before I went downstairs to do the floors is the bathroom upstairs. This is the boys' bathroom and I do have to wipe the toilet down basically every day. I don't think there's any hack around that really other than just doing it because until they get older, it's just going to be a little bit of a rough area for us. But I wanted to make sure it looked really nice in here and I just paid a little extra attention like getting under everything. I didn't just wipe the counter around the items. I wanted to make sure that I really got under all of the items. So I took everything off the counter and got that completely wiped down. And then to clean the mirror, I'm just using my e-cloth. So I have the e-cloth all-purpose cloth, which you just use water with. And then you just wipe it down and dry it off with a glass and polishing cloth. And it will get your mirrors and your stainless steel and any shiny surface like that completely streak free. It's so amazing and I love that it uses just water.
the last thing I needed to do in our house was just vacuum. So since our Roomba was upstairs vacuuming that area for me, I wanted to go ahead and vacuum our stairs. I do not vacuum our stairs every single day. This is more of like a once a week type thing because we don't eat upstairs, but it really does make such a big difference to get them vacuumed. And then I just needed to go back throughout our main living area and vacuum our wood floors. And I cannot tell you guys how much easier having this cordless vacuum has been for us. We got it when we moved into this house because we did have a ton of wood floors and I am not the biggest fan of sweeping. I will sweep when I need to sometimes, but mostly I just enjoy vacuuming a lot more. And I am just so excited. I don't think you guys understand, but I am so, so excited to be giving you guys a vacuum. Please be sure you enter that giveaway. This is an international giveaway, so it is open to anyone and everyone, no matter where you're at. And like I said earlier, we made it so easy to enter. There's no link or anything. All you have to do again is just make sure you are subscribed to both of our channels comment on both of our videos and like both of our videos and that's all you have to do and you are entered to win one of these Dyson vacuums. So good luck to everyone on that. I am so excited. The very last thing I needed to do was just to mop our floors. I do have a steam mop that I also love but when I'm short on time or when I'm short on motivation or I'm just a little tired, I do really love using this e-cloth spray mop. It just makes it so easy and convenient. And because it has the e-cloth technology in the cloth, it actually does disinfect your floors even if you're only using water. So that's another thing that I really love about it. Just when I thought I was done, I remembered I still had that load of laundry that I needed to fold. So I went ahead and just folded the rest of our towels and then I just got to enjoy the rest of the time before Kyle and I went on our date. So I hope you guys enjoyed this whole house clean with me and I hope you guys got some extreme cleaning motivation. Do not forget to head over to Micah's channel and check out her video as well. And be sure to let her know that I sent you. You guys are going to love her so much if you are not already subscribed to her. And I will leave the link to her video down in the description box below. Do not forget to enter that Dyson giveaway as well. As I said, it will be open for a month and then Micah and I will pick two winners and send you guys your vacuums. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you are not already and also head on over to Instagram and follow me over there. And I will see you guys in my next one. Don't care about the place we found. We'll still be up, still be up. We're in this together. We both fall down. Doesn't matter if the sun goes up. Cause we will still be high when the sun's up.